We're going to start here in the double room. Now, this is the room that Tracy and I are going to be staying in. It is different from the rooms that we've stayed in in the past, which is why I wanted to start here. Uh, it's quite different in size and, and setup. So let's have a look at this one. So straight as you walk in, it doesn't look like a massive room, but actually this is a really large space for one of these rooms. We've got a nice sized double bed in the middle of the room here, and each one's got a bedside table with its own little lamp on there. You can see I've started to take, take things apart a little bit myself. We've got a nice little table over in the corner if you want to sit. Now, uh, this room doesn't have a balcony. We'll say I'll just come over to here. Um, there's not really a great deal to see. We have just kind of like a view of the car park, but we also do have a lovely view of uh, the hills in the background there and this just kind of shows how useful this is just in the background just over here is a kind of a shopping center that includes a large supermarket so if you did need some things you can get those uh, we've got a nice little fridge now we, we these fridges are kind of standard here which is great and a little unit on here with plugs there's quite a lot of plug sockets in here so make sure you bring some adapters with you We've got a flat screen TV mounted on the wall and we've got a chair and kind of like a little desk area on the front. Here you can see me in my uh, what's been described as my highlighter shorts. Uh, we've got a nice double wardrobe going on here with sliding doors. Uh, if we open one side, we've got mainly shelving on this side of it. We do include a safe in here, which is really handy. So I've put some of our valuables in here and then just on the other side of our wardrobe, you can see we've got some hanging space here. I haven't taken that up. I've left, uh, Tracy hasn't unpacked yet. So we're gonna get that filled in a minute. And then we've got some more shelving, spare blankets at the top. Now, aside from the uh, slightly different shape right here, and we've got a corner room um, out on one of the uh, kind of exterior walls. I'll try and get a shot of that for you. Um, the bathroom in here is really quite different. So if I take you into our bathroom, which is on the right as we come in, we've got this really quite nice wide open space. We've got a large, so like mini wet room shower going on in here with a wonderful uh, shower head on the air. I'm really gonna, I'm gonna love going in that later. It's gonna love, lovely cool down. Standard toilet, we've got a railing in there as well. Well, if you do come in, you've got some mobility issues, you've got that, I don't know what they're trying to say about me with that one. And then a really nice and like large vanity unit uh, sink space there. We've got soaps, there are shower gels and shampoos in there as well. And we've got a hair dryer and again, another socket in case you bring your own things as well as a decent mirror on the wall. So this is the sort of nice double room in here. Now we actually have the next door room as well as this. We didn't have an adjoining room. They don't really have those because we've got five people staying. Uh, the adjoining rooms are two and two. Obviously we've got two and a three. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take you next door. The girls are currently in their room at the moment. So you'll just kind of get to see their space and literally it is the room next door. And you'll see that actually we've got these little things here. These are key cards that are used to open their door. And these are things you get from reception as you come in. Right, so this is more like the rooms we not, we have stayed in before. This is a triple version of rooms. So you can see we've got three single beds. Sometimes if you get like another kind of twin room, these beds will be kind of like joined together to make a double. You can see the girls just kind of like relaxing here, um, having unpacked some of their stuff. We haven't got um, Tracy and Oliver. They've gone off on a wander at the moment. Just like our room, they've got a little desk and chair in there with a flat screen TV on the wall. This room, unlike ours, does have a balcony on the side. So that, the table that you saw in my room is on the outside here. Similar sort of view, nice view of the hills in the background and the supermarket again. Each bed has got a little bedside table in this. You've got one and then another in the middle with the phone on it. Just like in uh, the double room, we've got the mirrored wardrobe uh, in here. We've got extra hanging space. We've got two, actually two slots of hanging space. Uh, so some of the shelving has been removed. And again, we do have a safe uh, with more and then more hanging space there. And then our bathroom in this case is a little bit smaller. It's a different shape. We've still got a nice sized vanity unit uh, on here with uh, kind of like soaps and toilet rolls there. And a big difference is we actually have a, let's pull the curtain the right way, that'll help. As well as having a shower, we've got a slightly more normal shower head, but we've got a full size bath. So if you are a person that prefers baths over showers, you might prefer one of these rooms. I don't really mind. Um, so that is the uh, triple room 
which is very, very similar to what you'd get in a sort of twin room anyway, if you did stay here in one of those rooms. Later on, what we'll do is we'll have a bit of a wander around um, the outside. We're about to go for a walk in a minute. We'll, we'll show you some of the pool areas we go through as well. And then we'll talk about some of the other stuff uh, in another video. So we've just been to the supermarket that's just around um, the corner from, in fact, just in front of our hotel. We're just going to turn around so you can see said hotel in the distance. It's just, you can cut, yeah, just that one there on my right shoulder. Just living the dream. It's very hot. It's like 38 degrees right now. I think it's toasty. Bit toasty. We've left the kids just so we could go to the supermarket. They don't want to come to the supermarket with us. Actually, they did. They didn't want to walk in 38 degree heat. Um, I can respect that. <laughs> we didn't want to. But sun cream was about 20 euros a bottle in the shop next to the hotel and 15 euros in the shop. So the walk is only a couple of minutes, but you do have to walk around the car park so it looks closer than it is. Uh, just going to return around for you again. Looks close to me. All little water fountains that you can just run through. They're just at the back of the hotel. This one here. Arsenal's quite big. 
until you look at our next door neighbour that is double the size. Oh, and Andy's video. Love a bit of people. Just showing you the kind of area that we're in. If I sort of pan from one side to the other, and all you kind of see of these hotels is ours in, in the middle of shot there. Um, and then all the way down, you've got this just like line of hotels just like lining the beach. It's a really nice area. And our one's actually one of the smaller ones in the middle there, which is fine by us. We quite like it. So a week ago, we were moaning about the rain in Paris. I'd love a bit of rain right now. So I did say uh, that I try and show you where on the hotel we are. I'm just going to start so I can try and zoom in as much as I can. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, just here, that is the balcony of the kids' room. You might just be able to see. We've got Emily waving uh, on the balcony there. And then just next to that, literally just here, that blackened window there, that's uh, Tracy's and I. Uh, our room where we're staying obviously like i said we don't have oh, yeah, a balcony oh they're all they're all waving they've all they've all come up to say hello you're honored you're honored you've been honored by the uh attention of effectively three teenagers it doesn't happen very often even we can't get the attention of three teenagers at a time normally um but that Especially if it means leaving the aircon yes yeah because you, you open those doors and the aircon turns off so uh you are highly privileged to seeing all of them. But um, like I say, we haven't got a balcony in our room. However, um, we've kind of got this trade off where the kids have got one. And actually it's quite a nice room anyway. So our room is massive. Um, so it's a bit of a pain for drying like swimwear and stuff, not having a balcony. But obviously we're lucky that we have one between the two of us. Um, and actually, it's so hot, it doesn't take long to dry it anyway. No, and I mean, the, the trade off is obviously you've seen the inside of the room, and I, I made some comments on there about the fact that there was some sort of accessibility things. And clearly, we've had a, I've had another look around. There is a shower seat in there that you can put in for the shower, obviously, it's a big, big shower cubicle. Thanks to it, it's clearly a uh, disability access accessible room in there. It's right next to the lift, uh, literally right next to the lift. You couldn't really get any closer and it's got the large inside spaces. The wardrobe is far more easy to access than other ones as you saw earlier, you've only got space in front of it. So if you do have a wheelchair, you can get there. And you know what? There are some wheelchair users actually in the hotel with us. There, are, there aren't many, but we've have seen a couple of them moving around. So it kind of shows that if you are uh, in need of somewhere that you can access, there is plenty of space in there and there are those rooms available for you. And you know, it's a five floor hotel okay five floors of rooms so i would make the assumption that there are i mean we there, i'm assuming there's another set on the other side of the, the kind of like large windows the sign there so my assumption would be is that there are 10 wheelchair accessible rooms in there at least, at least. so you know that's that's a pretty good um way to go so if you did need a room like that you know this is a hotel to look at Adding on to that, the, the lifts are a reasonably good size as well. They can hold, I think it's eight people. Of course, that means if you do need to get um, a wheelchair in there, you easily can. And they are, they're, they're kind of round in shapes. So I reckon you could probably you could probably pull a UE in there as well if you really, really needed to without too many problems. Um, the rooms are looking really nice at the moment, as you saw as well. They've recently been taken over by a company called Allegria. Um, it's we've had numerous companies on this while we've been here and it's not ever changed the kind of day-to-day -day running of the hotel just little things that happen there just to increase the comfort to an extent right it's really hot we're gonna go back on inside I haven't shown you the way in through here yet so I'll show you this part of the exterior too Is the last song you can say? 
in that moment with me. If not, we just we have to go to the right and to the left. Here. Yeah? Come on. Work it. Oh, I'm glad that was some of these big fans that they have here. They are everywhere, but as you can see, the girls are very busy, totally annoying. Um, yeah, so there's actually no aircon indoors for the bar and the lounge area. There is in the restaurant area, I can't put the words So there is aircon in the restaurant area, but not in the bar or in the lounge area, which gets a bit stuffy. Feel this, but the wind, we might get to hear it. The wind is insane. 
hold on a second while you go outside. Friends get children.